What's up friends, we're the Alamo City Living Team and today we are back on the far west side talking about one of the most premier subdivisions here outside of the 1604 Loop, Arcadia Ridge. This is gonna be another in-depth one. Stick around, you're gonna love it. Let's go. All right guys, so today we're talking about Arcadia Ridge. Let me show you exactly where that is on a map. All right, so we have a map here of the city of San Antonio and Arcadia Ridge is going to be located on this far west side like most of these communities that we've talked about. There's a lot of new construction happening on this side of town, so we're over here a lot. Arcadia Ridge is actually gonna be this whole gray area on this far west side of town. Living in Arcadia Ridge is gonna put you about 30 minutes away from the airport about 30 minutes away from downtown, and only about 20 minutes away from Lackland Air Force Base, so very convenient if you are working there at Lackland. All right, let's zoom in a little bit, take a look, get a feel for the area. So Arcadia Ridge is gonna be located in this entire subdivision neighborhood right here. Now, while this kind of looks far out on a map, it's actually really convenient to a lot of things. So as you can see right here, we have HEB, which is our grocery store. I mean, literally outside of the neighborhood, super convenient. If you wanna to go to a shopping center and you need to go to Costco and you have other things to do, the nice thing is that Costco is right here in this newly built shopping center. They do have some really good restaurants. They have some good entertainment. And there's actually a movie theater if you want entertainment right here as well, so you don't really have to drive that far. So this is an area where Arcadia Ridge really shines. If you have kids going to elementary school, you have a school located inside of the neighborhood, so you don't even have to go onto any major roads. And if you live close enough, you can let your kids walk to school. That's going to be Wernley Elementary School, which is right here. Now, if you have kids in middle school, you're gonna be looking at Bernal Middle School, which again is just outside that neighborhood, not quite as convenient as the elementary, but still right down the road. And if they are going to be attending high school, then they're going to be looking at going to Brennan High School, which is located right up here in this area, just off of Wiseman Boulevard. So a little bit of a drive, but to be honest with you, not too much. If you're looking at Arcadia Ridge on a map, the amenity center is gonna be located right here off that main road, right towards the front of the community. So that way it's pretty easy for everybody else to get into. Don't have to drive too far to have fun. They have a super nice pool and super nice playground. So amenities are absolutely there when it comes to this neighborhood. All right, now that we talked about where Arcadia Ridge and what's around it, let's go into the neighborhood and show you exactly what this one has to offer. All right, guys, just got out here to Arcadia Ridge and first impressions, super nice neighborhood. Now, what I really like about this neighborhood is as you come off of Petrenko Road, you turn onto Arcadia Path and you really get a vibe of seclusion here because Arcadia Path is a very, very long road and there are multiple subdivisions as you're driving down Arcadia Path all the way till you get to Grossenbacher, almost a mile long Arcadia Path and there's different subdivisions. Each of these subdivisions are gonna be different builders for the most part. Some of these subdivisions do have some mixed builders in here, but there are multiple builders in our Arcadia Ridge. So you're gonna have Meritage, you're gonna have Perry, Castle Rock, Empire. You do have some Syntex and Pulte out here. Syntex and Pulte are no longer building. A couple of their subdivisions are completely built out, but the current builders right now are the other ones that I mentioned, but very quiet. Of course, this is a school day and a work day. It's the middle of the week. So you do have, you know, there are a lot of people that are just uh, working, but again, you know, that's pretty indicative of the price point out here starting in the, in the mid four you're gonna have workers so during the day people are gone but it's very very quiet the elementary school right across the street from where we are right now but super nice what do you think I like it man I think you hit it right on the head when you said it's similar to Kinder Ranch it's like the Kinder Ranch of the west side if that makes sense right yeah like I think a lot of the scenery and the way like if you look kind of off to our left you see they have a bunch of hills and if you look off to the other side there's some more hills but I mean there's new construction so and I've, I've hit on this in other videos as well but the far west side of San Antonio is a lot more hilly than people lead it on to be and I think it's a really pleasant and welcome surprise especially once you get out here and you can actually see what it looks like in side of the community. Now this part of the community that we're in does kind of sit down in a valley but because of that when you look around and you see the homes around they sit a little bit higher so it does give you a little bit of a nice aesthetic but first impressions are, are really really nice. We're going to go head over to a couple of these new construction model homes. We're going to take a look and see what they have to offer. Let's go. All right guys we're here at our first house in Arcadia Ridge. We're going to go inside and take a look. I'm super excited about this. I like Castle Rock so let's see if they pull through with this model home. So as soon as you walk into the house, off to your right, you're gonna have the office. 
Now over here to your left, this is where the garage is gonna be. Entrance to the garage is gonna be about right here. So you're gonna have this nice foyer. Now the floors are gonna be hardwood. This, this is not laminate flooring. Super nice hardwood floors. Your office is gonna have your French double doors here. Super nice. Now you will notice that we don't have vaulted ceilings here. This is gonna be your standard eight, nine foot ceilings here. Not a problem. Right here, and we see this throughout the house, you have these accent cutouts. Super, super nice. You can put your permanent decorations here, or Trevor, I know that you like Halloween, so you're probably gonna have your Halloween decorations up here all year long. I will, and you know why I will do that? Because this, I love this black painting right here. Yeah. I think black paint is underutilized, but people are starting to bring it to forefront. And I, dude, I think that's legit. So we see that upstairs in the media room. We'll get to that in a minute. But yes, they did use a lot of black paint in this home, but it actually works out pretty well. But as you continue coming in, off to the right, you're gonna have your coat closet, you're gonna have a laundry room, and you're gonna have a half bathroom here. And now this home is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. You do have the option of turning the media room upstairs into another bedroom, so you would have five bedrooms. We've been getting a lot more phone calls lately of people who are looking for five bedroom homes. You don't see a lot of five bedroom homes today, so being able to have that option to have that fifth bedroom is pretty good. As you continue on through the house, again, you're gonna have more cutout accents. This is a unique kitchen. I really like it. Let's take a look really quick. Very intimate kitchen. A lot of homes that we're looking at these days have this open floor plan concept. This this one is very distinct. You're gonna have a walk through here into the kitchen. You're gonna have a very large island. And over here to the right, you're gonna have a really cool pantry. Now this pantry looks almost like a wine room with that glass so you can look into the pantry. Now, I don't know how you feel about that because our pantry can be a mess sometimes. So if you've got guests coming over a lot, you're probably gonna wanna keep it nice and tidy, but it is a good look to have that glass off of the pantry. You're gonna have your gas range with your microwave above. Now, this one doesn't have that distinct hood that we've seen in some of these homes, Trev. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a cabinet <clears throat> up here above, which of course you're gonna see where your vent is gonna be to the outside. But again, super nice. They've got the cabinets that go all the way up to the ceiling. So you've got plenty of storage up there. That's probably an option or an upgrade to get cabinets that big. But Castle Rock is an option builder. And you know they're very careful not to call themselves a semi-custom builder. We call them an option builder because they just have a ton of options. This home, of course, is the model home, so it's completely decked out. The price of this particular floor plan, which is the Dakota, will start you at $430,000. And if you were to have it completely decked out like this one, could run you up to 600,000. They recently sold a home at about 500,000. But again, over here to the right, you are gonna have this large window that looks out to your backyard, which again, I think is a really good look when you're sitting in this area, your sit-in kitchen, which you don't see a lot of these days, right? No, man, the, so initially, I thought this was a breakfast nook. I kind of looked around a little bit, I realized that this was actually the dining room. But to be honest with you, it while it is smaller than some of the other dining rooms that we've seen, it's still good enough to where you can put, again, like a round table just like this, and you might even be able to fit a smaller rectangular table here too. Yeah, you got five chairs. I mean, you know, you do have the option of this home being a five bedroom, which to me indicates you might have a larger family. So this area does appear to be a little bit small. So if you were gonna get a bigger table, you know, it's gonna take up, it's gonna swallow this whole area up. But I do like the intimacy of where this is located. I mean, I don't think families today really sit around and eat their breakfast and lunch and dinner together. I think this kind of helps bring that back. Super cool. Coming on out, you're gonna have your staircase directly in front of you. We'll head upstairs here in just a second, but you are gonna walk into your living room area. And they did not spare details in this living room. Over here behind you, Trevor, is gonna be a built-in bookshelf, which to me, I, I really, really like that. We're a family of readers, and so we've got books everywhere. We've got bookshelves upstairs in our room. Having that built in there where you can put like your favorite, you know, magazines or books so you can just sit in here and, and read at night is pretty cool. The cool thing about built-ins too is that because they're built in, they take up less of a footprint. Yeah. Whenever, you know, because I mean, if you were to put a bookshelf right there, it would take up a whole bunch of space. You probably wouldn't be yep. able to put that table there. So really good on this community, man. This builder's doing a good job so yeah. far. Yeah, less furniture you have to buy. Now, what I love about Castle Rock, our first home here in San Antonio was a Castle Rock home. And I fell in love with it then. I still love it now. The vaulted ceilings. That was just classic Castle Rock build. 
all the way up there. You know, one of the questions that a lot of people have is how do you change the light bulbs that high? That's, I still don't have the answer to that. You don't. But you know, if you can figure it out, let me know. But I love the vaulted ceilings. Look over here above the fireplace. They've got that nice clock up there i mean just that's just so pretty it is i just hope it doesn't ever run out of batteries yeah <laughs> <laughs> you've got the window that uh lets in some natural light into the living room which is another good look now one of the things that we see a lot right is off of the living room you have big sliding glass doors that get you outside onto the back porch this one's not like that you've got the large windows here that let you look outside onto the large back patio but you've just got a door that opens up to the back patio. I, and I can't get out, so. You're trapped. I, I'm trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be smarter than the door. <laughs> but I do like having a door that leads to the backyard versus a sliding glass door. I am not a fan of sliding glass doors. Unless it's that million dollar home we looked at that mm. has those massive sliding glass doors. I did like that. It makes it one big room. That's an exception. Walking into the master bedroom downstairs, I call this an open concept master because as soon as you walk in, it's just, you know, you just have all this space. I do want to point out that as much as they have put into the details of this home, I do not like the flooring that they have in here. This carpet uh. is lame dude. it feels kind of budget carpet man i won't lie if this is the standard carpet then uh <clears throat> we're gonna have to talk to them about a free upgrade because this is this is isn't doing it for me but when you walk into the master bathroom you are gonna have very nice tile floor inside the master you're gonna have a tub you're gonna have a shower separate you're also gonna have a separate water closet so you can do your business and your significant other can still brush your teeth without throwing give up. you some pride <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You are going to have the his and her sink and you are going to have a walk-in closet. Now, again, the walk-in closet isn't as big as some of the walk-in closets that we've seen in some of our, our recent homes, but it'll do the job. If you're a guy, you're just going to have to maybe downsize on your wardrobe because most of that space is probably going to be given to your wife. Beautiful bathroom. I love the accents that they have put in there. Walking back out, we're going to head upstairs and take a look at the upstairs and I don't think you'll be disappointed with the upstairs. It's very, very nice. This here is the open, open railing, open rail, right? These are just like, you know, your metal spindles. Is that what you call them? Mm, probably not, but okay, we'll go with well, that. We're going to go with spindles. We'll go with spindles. All right, your metal spindles. <laughs> um, that's probably an option as well. A lot of times these homes will come with like the solid staircase, but this is super, super nice. Let's head upstairs and, and take a look at it. Now, one of the things that I pointed out, Trev, coming up, to the landing is this large space for this huge mirror. These mirrors, I feel like, open up your space a lot more. What do you think? They definitely make it feel like you have a lot more room than you do. Yeah. For sure, hey, hands down. Now, looking over the side, when you're up here in this loft area, you can look right down into the living room. Again, if you have little kids that are up here playing and stuff, you know, that might be a little bit noisy for you, but as far as opening up the home, I think that it's a really good look. You do have this loft area, which is big enough for you know a couch and a couple chairs. You could put your TV on the wall like they have here in demonstration. And then we're, we talk about this black paint. This is where we saw some of this black paint. What do you think? I love the black paint, man. I think it looks really good. Yeah. But I think, again, I kind of mentioned earlier, I think that this is a recent thing though. Yeah. Black paint didn't come around until recently, or at least it didn't look cool, because every time you mentioned that, someone was like, ugh. It's not I for remember. everybody. No. It's not for everybody. I don't think I would do black accent walls, but you know, this home, the way that they have the other accents, I think that it works out. Now, we do have a master downstairs, and then we're gonna have three bedrooms upstairs. Now, the bedroom off to my left here is gonna be a mother-in-law suite, so you are gonna have a separate bathroom inside this bedroom it's almost like a mini master and it's it's pretty cool now you're not going to have the walk-in closet you're going to have your standard closet but you are going to have the stand-up shower in there and the sink and everything like that works very very well walking over here down the hallway where we're going to find our other two bedrooms and our media room our bathroom is going to be a full bath you're not gonna have a his and her sink, but you are gonna have a separate water closet so you can do your business as well. There's a shower, stand-up shower in there as well. Very nice. And then you're gonna have your standard bedrooms up here, standard size closets, probably bedrooms 10 by 12 or so. Not super big, but definitely big enough for your kids. And then this is where we come to the media room. Now, the media rooms are standard in this floor plan, the Dakota, and I like that a lot, but this is what you would be able to substitute for a fifth bedroom if you wanted to do that. What do you think about this media room? So I 
love it. Yeah. I think it's so cool, man. You know, everyone always harps on lighting and natural light. Natural light's great, but it's not great in every space. This is a space where I'm super glad they don't have any windows. Super dark, man. You can play video games up here, watch some movies. Problem with this room is that if I had it, I probably wouldn't leave and get much done. What I love about walking through these model homes is the design. I mean, whoever they hire to stage these homes, I want to hire them, man, because I know that I would have this media room and it would not look as good as this. You know, uh, just be <laughs> these movie lights and uh, all the accent uh, furniture that they put in here. This is legit, man. I, uh, me too. I, I wouldn't leave this room. All right, guys, let's head back downstairs and let's talk to the builder rep real quick and see what we can get as far as what they're offering as far as incentives and a little bit more about this neighborhood. Let's go. Cadia Ridge is our Silver Series product. Okay. So our Silver Series here, we have a total of seven floor plans. It starts all the way from 1667 square feet on to 2843 square feet. Okay. And um, there's a lot of options they, they can pick, covered patios, junior suites upstairs. They pick everything from the flooring to the countertops to the color of the cabinets. So they have that, that semi-custom uh, feel whenever they're buying a, a, a Castle Rock home. We have, have. three elevations. Of okay. Five if you count the stone options. Gotcha. We have three sections that we're building as well. All sorts of lots from 45 wide to 120 length. And we have cul-de-sac lots, all sort, uh, all, all sizes, all different sizes as well. The last quarter of the year is literally the best quarter uh, when you're doing a new build, okay. um, the builders usually are trying to get rid of all of their inventory. So when it comes to inventories, uh, right now I have up to $40,000 to give to the buyer, okay. not including $10,000 that I have for their closing costs. The preferred lender that we utilize will give them up to 1% of the overall loan amount, which will also help either with a buy down or for closing costs. All right, so we're out here in front of the amenity center. Now this is a pretty nice amenity center. It's got, it's a pool right next to it. It's a small little playground for kids. I will say that the downside to this neighborhood is that they only have one amenity center here. And this is a very large and fast growing community. Now, the good news is they do have another large amenity center planned for Arcadia Ridge, but who knows when that's gonna be. We know that Perry Homes is coming into the neighborhood. They've already got their model home up. And so every Perry home that we've ever been in has an amenity center. They do. They do have one planned. Now, Arcadia Ridge has been around for about five years, and I do believe they've been talking about a second amenity center the whole five years. Now it's probably gonna be deeper into it where all that new construction is happening. But yes. I like where this is located. We touched on it on the map uh, video, but mm -hmm. this is like right towards the front. So yep. really convenient. It'll be even better whenever they put a second one back. So that way these people can use this one, they can use this one, whatever. It won't be such a crowded spot, especially during summertime. Absolutely, because Arcadia Pass goes all the way down to Grossenbacher. And then Grossenbacher, you can take that and that'll take you into another uh, subdivision that'll lead you back onto Petrenko Road. Uh -huh. And then Grossenbacher is gonna continue on to 211. So you won't have a lot of people necessarily having to come up this way. And so it will be nice once they put that amenity center down there. But there you have it, guys. Another thing that I hear about Arcadia Ridge is every week they have a different food vendor out here in front of the amenity center. Right now, they've got ice cream. And uh, Trev, you know how I feel about ice cream, man. Yeah, fortunately I do. Let's we do go. it, we All gotta right. do it. Awesome, thank you. Have a good one. Got the Big Dipper. Let me see. Okay. You know it. Okay. All right. All right. All right, guys. So who is this neighborhood for? So let me tell you, this neighborhood is going to be for a first-time home buyer, or if you're looking for your forever home, this is perfect for you as well. This is definitely going to be a step up from a starter home neighborhood. I mean, you have seen the amenities that it has, the price point in which these homes start, definitely gonna be above what the median home price is here in San Antonio, right at 385. These are gonna start in the 430s and up, uh, resale and new construction. So this is really gonna be for everybody. So Trevor, what did you think about this neighborhood? Man, I really liked it. I think 
what I liked about it is the variety of builders because you have builders out here like Perry, but then you also have builders with qualities like Castle Rock and even Empire communities who make really good homes, different price points, 100%, but it gives you a little bit of options in moving to this community. The other thing that I noticed and that I like about it is how big this community is. I mean, it's massive, like probably bigger than the majority of these neighborhoods and master plan communities that I've seen on the west side. So I can see where you're talking about when it comes to that expansive growth and all the new homes going up. It's really impressive. So guys, that is Arcadia Ridge. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Of course, if you have any questions about any of the floor plans that we checked out with Empire and Castle Rock, make sure you hit us up, text, call, email, or if you just have questions in general about San Antonio and your move here, of course, we are always available for you. We do post videos every single week, so make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. You do not want to miss them. Yeah, guys, and if you plan on making a home purchase here in San Antonio or the surrounding area within the next few weeks or even the next few months, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We would love the opportunity to help you and your family make a smooth move here to San Antonio. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.